Look at that, folks. River monster. No walleyes today. There we go, guys. We're in the Capra's shop right now, picking up some bait, going fishing tomorrow. Back to pool four, doing some walleye fishing. Gotta get on some fish, guys. Was there last time, but you know what? We didn't really catch the target species. Maybe caught like a catfish or whatnot, but guys, the goal is to catch some walleyes and soggers and hopefully make some tacos, you know what I'm saying? But going back out tomorrow with the boys right now, just making a pit stop at Capra Sporting Goods. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, you're gonna see that I asked you guys, what is your top bass bait? And also on YouTube as well. So guys that commented and stuff, I'm gonna pick the best five baits and we'll do a giveaway, okay? So stay tuned to the end of this video and find out how we're gonna do it, okay? But other than that, let's pick out some bait and get going. We gotta give some major shout out to my guy, Hulan, for bringing me up, into man? the shop. Thanks for the partnership, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Always Happy. hooking up the brothers. Yep. That's what happens when uh, you keep uh, good friends for over 10 years. What? We've been knowing each other since what? 2000... 20, 2010, I think, 2011. That's looking at 20... That's looking at 13 years. So, 13 years, 13 years later, homie gets a job, fishing manager here, too long. So if you guys come here, What's up? let him know. You guys follow the channel. Maybe he might give you guys a good deal or something. But uh, yeah. Yeah, swing by the shop, guys. I'm always here. That's right. I'm always giving deals. Got some good mega bass gears. Oh, you guys yeah, take a look dude. over there. Bunch of mega bass too. If you guys want to come here, take some goods. A lot of good stuff. Might even go into the uh, giveaway too. And guys, if you guys come in, you see this big fella. That's Sam, new owner. Oh yeah, super baby. cool guy. It's gonna be great, man. I appreciate. It. I'm excited. 2023, baby. Yes, sir. What's up guys, good morning. Going to the Mississippi River, pool four, red wing today. Got the boat loaded up here. Got Ying and Chia joining us today. You guys will see them on camera, but the goal today is just to get on some type of pattern. Catch multiple fish, multi-species. Just wanna catch some fish, guys. But um, yeah, enough chit-chatting. We're probably gonna launch at Everett's in Wisconsin and uh, get on fishing. Right now it's like, what, six? As you guys can see, it's still dark outside. But yeah, let's see you guys uh, on the water. Well, it looks like that, guys, falling out here with the rest of the crowd. Minnesota side, the dam's right there. So you, uh, we see some fish on live scope. Hopefully we catch them. Live bait, dubiki rig, blade baits, walleye jigs, all that good stuff. Right now we're in sitting on 30 feet of water. The time is seven o'clock. Water temps, 39 degrees. So similar to what it was last time we were out here, but goal is to catch some fish, guys. Let's go. Damn, these Joe minnows last a long time. Every time I buy from Blue Ribbon, they always oh. die. Oh, really? Yeah. Where'd you pick them up? Huh? I picked these up Thursday already, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, none of them died. Nice. Just a good thing. Using these flies, too. This one is tied by Urban Outdoors. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is so comfy back here. Good thing the damn current is not even flowing that hard, too. There's a school white bass right there, dude. Let 
Whoa, what the f is right underneath us, dude? No bite, though. Come on, Jay. Ooh. Got a fish. Finally got a fish, guys. Oh my god. Pike, uh, the pike. What the heck? Like some action, though. What the frick? <laughs> the freaking pike, dude. Is that the hell? Well, I actually don't know. You know, so. This dude's thick, though. Swipe at it. First fish of the day, though. Like chasing those school. See a buddy? Dang, should have. It's okay. It's not target species. Oh. Fish on, guys. Hell yeah. So far, it's been a pretty slow day. But, uh. Got one hooked up on the blade bait right now. Pretty sure this is not as walleye. Big fish though. How much line you got? Uh, eight pound. Eight pound. No, the braid is heavy. The braid is fifteen pounds. Oh. <laughs> at least at at least six feet. Oh my god. Yeah. Cause I see him on the five foot um, increments, and he's like past ten or fifteen. Close. Come on, oh, fish. Give up. Oh, man. Right here. Coming up. Freaking dinosaur, dude. Freaking behemoth monster paddlefish, guys. <sighs> Never caught one before. And the first one I catch is a freaking tank. Like, I can't even hold it up, dude. It's freaking massive. We're gonna let this guy go soon. All right, can you get a closer with this, Chia? Get a closer with this fish. Look at that, folks. River monster. No walleyes today. But all we catch is paddlefish. A freaking tank. We're gonna let him go. About an hour fight. Ah! Don't go in with him. A freaking monster. I have no strength. Fish is freaking heavy. Well, guys, cheers to that. I gotta say, what a crazy catch. I said it was about an hour fight, but actually, I'd say it was closer to two hours. So, what was happening was that all day we were chasing for some walleyes and sauger to catch some, to do some fish tacos, you know, but we didn't catch nothing. It was literally a tough day. Caught one pike and that huge giant paddlefish, like literally guys, like 
a fish of a lifetime and definitely a fish that I've always wanted to catch, you know? Because it's just, you know, one of those fish that's super rare, super tough to catch. They don't actually bite. Most of the time you just accidentally just bump into them and you snag a hook into them. That's the only way you can catch them because those guys, they do not feed on bait fish or anything. All they do is filter feed, kind of like a whale, you know what I'm saying? But cheers guys, crazy again. Mm. So let me show you guys exactly what you guys been waiting for. So if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video, let me go ahead and show you guys what is going in the box because I did ask you guys again on Facebook and on YouTube what your best bass fishing lure or your favorite one is, you know what I'm saying? So I actually went ahead and went to went over to Capra's, you know what I'm saying? Sponsor of this channel, went over to the shop and picked up some of the best baits that I thought that were gonna be, you know, for anybody really. And the main thing I wanted to do was give back to you guys who support this channel, you know. It's more than a community, you know, it's really like a I don't know what to say, it's like a family you would say because I don't know, it's at home posting videos and you guys are at home just watching it, enjoying it and I love fishing and you guys do too. So let me show you guys what's in the bag. So the bag is right here and let me show you guys what's in here, okay? One, we got a big Gabbit Mega Bass Frog. I've actually never thrown this before but I heard really good things about it so kudos to whoever will be getting this because this is going to be a badass topwater lure. Very expensive too guys. I want to make sure I'm giving back to you guys. Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Those of you who watch this channel for a few years now know that this is a staple. Works hella good. Works just like a jig. This is a one ounce in Wagasaki color. Next up, we got these two right here, guys. Expensive again. Two Jackal, not Jackal, Z-Man Jackhammers, okay? Evergreen, you know, the chatterbait. These are like the premium, most premium ones, okay? You guys know Jackhammer chatterbaits. This is the plug. This is a three quarter, three fourth, and this one is a half. So perfect for spring bass fishing. Catch a lot of donkeys on these. Next up, two jigs. And not just any jig, got them jigs. I had these two left over from last year. One in fire craw, the other one in green pumpkin. And I actually have a bag of craws, which is the Big Bites College Craw. One of my favorite craws that I like to use as a trailer. This is actually like a, like a, a green pumpkin, purple, PB and J. Super dope color can just pair up like nothing. Why, she's watching? She's not even caring. A little Nova in the back. But yeah, that's that. Most importantly, a lot of people are saying the Senkos. So here's one of my personal favorites. Been having this one for, well, we've been using this one for probably the beginning of time. And that little chartreuse tail, you guys know. If you use this one, it catches fish. But other than that, yeah, that's what is, uh, is in the giveaway. So all these badass lures and stuff like that is going out to one winner, okay? And if you guys are wondering how to get in here, super simple, guys. <laughs> this is free to anybody to win, and what you gotta do is just leave a comment down below. Post a comment down below. Tell me what your plan is for 2023. What do you wanna see for fishing, and what do you wanna do personally? It doesn't have to be anything specific, but that's just how it is. But anyways, uh, thank you guys. Oh, they have law in the back. Oh, go on, go on. What video is that? Just letting the folks know. But yeah, that's that, guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I actually want to grab some beef tacos because there is no fish tacos. There's beef tacos. You guys can see there? Beef tacos, baby. Mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. Can't get too much pepper, otherwise, you know what I'm saying? You'd be running to the bathroom. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh, you to the camera. It's super yummy. No fish tacos, but beef tacos. Mmm. Mmm.